Hello everyone. Today in this post, we would like to talk about or find out the time of the flight of a projectile. So, though it is a repetition, I would like to tell you what do you mean by a projectile. If you throw a body with an initial velocity, making an angle theta other than 90 degree with the horizontal, it is called a projectile motion. So, let it is x axis. So, this is nothing but y axis. Now I have thrown the body both along x in between x axis and y axis. We have proved in the previous post that uh, it takes a path of parabola. This is the displacement along x direction. I have proved x is nothing but equal to u cos theta into t. Why? Because this u can be resolved into components as u x along x axis and u y along y axis. We know u x is nothing but u cos theta u y is nothing but equal to u sin theta. I have further just applied s equal to u t plus half a t square equation. And I have also proved y equal to displacement along y direction. u sin theta into t minus half j t square. Now I want to calculate what is time of flight. First of all, we shall understand what is the meaning of the time of flight. It is simple. It is a time taken to complete the journey. So, I want to calculate how much time does it takes to complete its journey. So, can I say at the end of the time of flight, after a certain time, nothing but time of flight, body has gone into the air during the journey but came back onto the same x axis. Is it not? See, we started from here, it came from here. So, end of the time of the flight, it has some horizontal displacement, some horizontal displacement, but it has started from the ground and it is coming back to the ground. What do you mean by that? It is starting point on the y axis and the ending point on the y axis is equal to 0. That means what I can say at the end of the time of the flight, the displacement of the body, the displacement along y axis is 0. Why I am saying 0? Because it has started from the ground on the y axis, end of the time of the flight, it has not landed back at the same place of the origin but it has landed back on the ground itself. Therefore, its vertical displacement is 0. We have just now written equation for the vertical displacement y as u sin theta into t minus half j t square. So, if I say the time taken to the displacement along y axis is nothing but time of flight let me call the time of flight is t, capital T. I would like to say displacement is 0, end of the time of the flight. Put that in the equation then, 0 equal to u sin theta into t, capital T, because I am calling the time of flight as time itself. So, I can further simplify. u sin theta into t is nothing but equal to half g t square. I can further cancel this t and t. So, I can get 2u sin theta equal to j into t. Therefore, I can get an equation time of flight is nothing but equal to 2u sin theta by g. So, this time of flight is simply time taken by the projectile to complete its projection and comes back to the ground. End of the time of the flight, it is back on the ground. It has no vertical displacement, but it has some of course, horizontal displacement. How much horizontal displacement is nothing but this much but it has started from the origin, came back to the origin, therefore, it has no vertical displacement. Like this, we can calculate the time of the flight, right. We will continue this discussion further in the next post. Thank you.